Hi everyone, and welcome to our March edition of The Brief. I'm your host, Spencer Ferreira, and I'm here at our Matt Arena, and I'm gonna be recapping everything that's going on within CSUN Sport Clubs, so let's get right into it. CSUN hosted the Matador Madness Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Tournament at the beginning of the month. The other participating schools were Berkeley, UCLA, UC San Diego, Cal Poly, Pomona, and San Diego State. The Matadors ended up winning the tournament as a team, and several athletes placed first in their respective weight classes. BJJ President Riley Stocco told us how much this win meant for him and the team. First of all, congratulations on the win. What does it mean to get the team victory like you did today? Uh, it means a lot. We, uh, we worked really hard to get here. We've gone through three eboards to get to this point, and we've worked really hard training. We have two programs that we use and we run them and we use the fundamentals class to feed into the comp class. We put a lot of effort into it. So getting it to be this big was something that was a goal of mine, but I'm very happy with it. So it's my understanding that you're the president of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah. What does it take to get this type of event set up? Uh, it just takes a lot from AS, I'm gonna be honest. I just put a facility request in and then I, I just say what I need and they do it for me. So I didn't really have a lot. I mean, the hardest part was just getting the people here. Uh, people moving is always super hard, but like the registration, the registration process and getting people here is probably the hardest part. And there was a delay in getting this set up, right? Because yeah, wasn't this supposed so to take place in there December? Was a software that we were supposed to use, and it was the first time we tried using it, and it had a bunch of bugs in it, and it wasn't really working. So we had to switch to paper, and then we were running scorekeepers on paper, which kind of led to a whole thing. So yeah. Now, you're not only are you the president, but you're involved athletically. What yeah. is your process like getting ready for an event like this? It's a lot of like nutrition stuff, honestly, because you have to make weight for these things. And I started at like, I'm gonna say like 166, 167, and I cut down to 159. So you start early and you, and you do it right. You, you gotta track your calories, watch your water intake. You know, obviously like before the fight, you don't need to, you don't need to watch your water intake before that, but you gotta be, be sure that you make weight healthy because there's a lot of like ways to do it that aren't healthy. So mm -hmm. I try to advocate for that as well in my club because I don't want my guys cutting more than two pounds a week. Right. Are there any last words you want to add? Uh, just this is this is awesome, um, and this this belt means a lot. And uh, yeah, we won. So yeah, this is a lot. I love this. All right. Congratulations on the win. Thank you so much. Thank you. The women's soccer team continued their season with back-to-back -back games against Cal Poly San Luis Obispo and UCLA. They fought hard in both games, but couldn't quite climb the hill. However, seniors Madeline Brandriff and Maggie Maldonado were celebrated on their senior night. Congratulations to them. It wouldn't be March without some basketball. The men's team faced off against USC, while the women faced off against UCSD. While neither team was able to come away with the win, the men's team came down to their last possession that ended in a missed shot. Major League Baseball is underway, and so are our Matadors. They won their series against Southern Utah, they followed up that with wins against UCSD and SMU. Some clubs are experiencing some major achievements. The boxing club won a belt and medal at nationals. Table tennis won three first place medals at their end of year competition. Cheer finished in third place at their United Spirit Association competition. The wrestling club saw Angel Juarez, Tyler Mesa, and Frank Saylor each qualify to compete at nationals. Congratulations to all of our athletes. Now with some quick updates around sport clubs. Men's volleyball is currently ranked fifth in the nation. Badminton has a new coach. The women's lacrosse team made the playoffs. And the women's rugby team defeated Cal State Long Beach. Well, that's all we have for you today. As the semester comes to an end, there will start to be less games going forward. However, we will still be producing various types of content on our social medias, so be sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok. I'm Spencer Ferreira, and this has been our March edition of The Brief.